Happy Makers Monday, and I have bound off. I am in love with this project. I know, I know, I say that all the time, but guys, my color work, it's just, ah, and then the colors, period, the design. I really believe that a pattern comes to life when you have the right pattern and the right yarn and the right colors. And I think I did that. Adela and her vision is amazing. And Dana and her design skills, best. Mm Mm-hmm. The absolute best. I'm almost, I'm almost finished, y'all. I'm almost finished, y'all. I'm almost finished. Yes, I'm almost finished. Hello, 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 hello. Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. I am Gigi of GigiMadic.com. You know, the knitter, the blogger, the iconic orange lady, the goddess <laughs> the orange goddess the empress of orange you know <laughs> hi everybody welcome back welcome to the first episode of the new year heck of the new decade imagine that so we're going to start off with a tiny episode simply because I just looked at my planner and Vogue Knitting is next week. I want to wear this on Saturday. So I got to get these sleeves going. So I just started last night. You see this color work. I just started the color work in the sleeves. So I need to do that and get that out of the way. I will feel better once that's done. And um yeah, so that's where I'm at. Honestly, I was getting ready to say to you that I don't know what I'm going to do next, but that's a lie. I don't know where I put it, but I have that kit from Four Pearls, that gradient of orange that they put together for me. So that's I will do next because I just remember February, I will be going to... Stitches West and Birdie Parker is going to make one. So we'll have, we'll be twinsies. We'll be orange twinsies. So that's what I'll be doing next. And that should be a a, a mindless knit because there's no extra business going on. So you guys all know, just to refresh you, if you are new, this is the Buck Beak Pullover, I believe. I'll put the information below. It's in the upcoming Tannis Gray book, the Harry Potter Book of Patterns, Knitting Magic. It's called, I'll I'll put the information to that down there as well. Um, The designer is Dana Williams Johnson. Call me DWJ on Instagram is her handle. And you already know. The yarn is from that damn Della. So it's iconic. It's the darkest is iconic orange. The light orange is called Orange Goddess, I believe. And this is luminescent. So these three shades, from what I understand, and I will confirm with Adela, but the way that I understand it is she's retiring the other three um, shades of orange that she had created for me that drove her crazy and made her not like orange. But at any rate, and she's replacing with these. So these will be available for the first time for sale for the public at Vogue Knitting. So on Saturday, if you well, anytime at Vogue Knitting, if you're looking for me, come to Adela's booth. I will get the booth number and all that information and share it with you. But I will be booth babing again. So the best place to find me is in her booth. Um, I don't plan on going far 
from that other than to go to the potty because I don't want to get on the floor and get distracted and get stopped and I'm there to help her. So that's where I'll be. So if you are attending Vogue Knitting and you're looking for me, I will be in Adela's booth, wherever that is. I will get the information for you and come and say hi. So I bound off. There's a um, I-cord bound off. And again, now I just have my sleeves. But if you remember seeing the picture, and I'll put a picture in here to remind you guys of what the sweater looks like. This color, this color work repeats, and the bottom of the sleeve is this way. But it's a three-quarter sleeve. It's not a full-length sleeve. So that's where my focus will be for the next couple of days until I get... Like, I really want to... I didn't pay attention to how many rows of color work it is, but I want to try to put a nice dent in one of these this sleeve tonight so i am going to do that um and then like i said the next thing would be the 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 cow from excuse me from four pearls using um emma's yarn she put together a a orange kit for me so I'll be working on that next so I can take that with me to um, Stitches West. And then I have some place that I'll be in March, but I can't announce that yet. So as soon as I t can, it's safe for me to share that I will. So I often get messages from folks to say, you know, come this place, come that place. I really think this year, if you are off the grid, you're not in the East Coast, or you're not like my Florida stop or in that place, I'm going to places this year that I haven't been before, events that I haven't been before. So it's a great chance. There's a real great likelihood that I'll meet you this year. 2020 is going to be super exciting. So can't talk about March, but April is DFW. So I'll be in Dallas for that event. Not sure what my schedule will look like, but as soon as I get that, I will share it with you guys. So that's April. What's May? I want to say something is May. She got a schedule, y'all. And I got to keep looking at the calendar to remember what days are what. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. So I am really putting my knitting planner to use. I'm a planner person anyway. But I'm truly putting it to use with everything that I have going on. And yeah, I can't think of nothing else. Let me think. Let me think. I think that's it. I think that's it. I will come back as the sleeves are going. I <laughs> was excited once I was... I got down past here and I tried it on and I did a little dance and it's gone crazy on Instagram. Everybody's loving it. So I'll put a little clip in that. And I think I have another clip once I laid it out and um, I finished my eye cord bind off. So I'll include that. But again, as I said, this is going to be a short one because I need to knit. It's almost five o'clock. Um, so I need to shut work down and get to working on that sleeve. So definitely we'll have more progress. Hopefully I'm finished by Sunday when I come back. Hopefully, that's my prayer. So for now, short and sweet, I just wanted to come and let you know that I, I didn't forget about you guys. I will be doing my weekly upload. Sundays is the goal again. So I just wanted to come and touch base, say happy new year say let's grab 2020 buy a seat pants and own it okay watch your mouth that hasn't gone away kick them fears out of the way kick them insecurities out of the way and let's go forward i'll see you on the other side okay thanks for everything that you guys do i don't think you guys understand how important it is that you guys interact and you enjoy my content and you just really make me feel good so thank you and if you're new here i've seen some comments a lot of people saying they're just finding me hey welcome don't 
forget to subscribe and hit the notification button because I upload once a week, at least once a week, unless something special happens. So that's all I got this week, guys. That's it. Short, sweet. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. I'm almost, I'm almost finished, y'all. I'm almost finished, y'all. And I'm almost finished, y'all. I'm almost finished, y'all. Uh, I'm almost finished. Oh, almost finished. Oh, almost finished. Oh, almost finished. Finished, 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 almost.